I picked up this table very cheaply just to make a video. These tables are known as pie crust tables. And it's a two-tiered table and the top part's missing. That's why all the damage in the center. This is a walnut veneer and an unknown wood missing right there in some of the inlay. The first step is to clean this up. There's all kinds of uh, stuff spilled on this thing. So I'm gonna use a little orange with pumice in it, a little orange, orange oil cleaner. And uh, just give it a quick once over here to get rid of the worst of it. There's some of the uh, damage. So I'm gonna scrape the finish rather than sand because the veneer is very, very thin. And the, the, well, and there you go. I just broke some of it. So I'll have to save that piece and put it back in there. But uh, gotta be very careful. What I'm doing here is I'm just dressing my uh, card scraper. Um, I'm going to uh, use this hardened pin in order to roll a burr on it. And this is a pretty tough finish, so you, you have to do this frequently during the, the process. At, at least uh, try to roll the burr now and then. Well, this is just nothing but work, as you can see. I'm trying to go with the grain. When I cross over the inlay, it gets a little tedious. So um, I'll get through this, and then uh, we'll go to the, the next step, which is to pick some of the uh, damaged inlay out and make some straight lines so that I can actually make some pieces that, that fit the best of my ability anyway. I'll just keep that in case it fits somewhere else after a little bit of trimming. Here's another straight cut. The entire little curvature is, uh, is missing. I've got a piece of it there. That one actually came out too, so I'm just fitting it right back where it came from. Now this is some of the, uh, the veneer that I did, including that piece that I stripped out accidentally. Um, it's still got the paper on top of it that I used as the pattern. And I'm um, gonna pull this off, this tape, which is just packing tape. It could put it either way. It could put adhesive down or adhesive up. Uh, I put it adhesive down just to sort of lock things in place before I clamped it. I'm going to use a little CA glue here uh, for another small piece that I made. I had sprayed some activator in the, uh, on the back of the piece, so it should take set real quickly here. Not much time to move it around, I'll tell you that. So now here's another missing piece. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the, the side of a, an architectural pencil lead and see if I can't um, trace out the, uh, the shape that's needed so I can cut it. I'll use that same piece of paper on top of a piece of veneer and I'll cut it out with the scissors as you're going to see in just a second here. I'm tracing this other one now with a, uh, a pencil, um, not rubbing it so much as I am just sort of tracing it. I, you can do this with masking tape as well. Um, the p type of paper I'm using is almost a parchment. It's not quite tracing paper, but I can see through it a little bit. So that, that helps quite a bit. Here I'm just making the piece with a sharp chisel. Um, I'm putting in some uh, hide glue here. So I'll have a, a chance to work with this one a little bit longer than the, uh, the other one there. So that little piece slides right in there. And then uh, it's gonna get clamped. Again, tape either way. On this particular application, I, I like to put sticky side down I know the thing's not going to jump out of place when I go ahead and clamp it up. Up there by the pencils is the area that I was working on. This is another area where a couple of the uh, little fleur-de-lis or whatever you want to call them are missing. So 
on this one, I had used masking tape. So I was just trying d different ways to see what worked work the best. And they are a little proud, so I can actually remove the tape uh, quite easily with this chisel here. I'm just going to hit it with some 180 paper here real quick just to see how it feels, how high it is, what, what I might need to do next. As you can see, right next to the repair, there's a, a feature line there that sort of makes that like a couple of leaves. So uh, I made one piece, uh, and that actually is a little depression. So I'm going to use this uh, wood carving chisel and make that uh, very slight line in there, that feature line. It kind of goes slow, but I don't want to, you know, just skid across the thing and wreck it. Now, using an X-Acto knife, I'm going to try to make a little bit more of a V out of it. I think when I'm done, I'll just color it with a pencil just so it shows up uh, under the finish. So now a little more scraping just to level things out a little bit. Uh, again, too aggressive sanding. Uh, I might go through the veneer. It's very thin. This is not a high quality table. It's some kind of an import. And it's not worth it because it's missing the top tier anyway. But I have a solution for that later on in the video. This is my thinnest card scraper and it it will bow, and that's when you want to concentrate on a certain area, that's what you want to do, is you want to bow it and uh, sort of bear down right in the center there uh, to avoid scraping in a, uh, the edges off of the veneer that's adjacent to the piece that you're, that you're trying to bring down. Here's where we stand at this point. Well, me, since you haven't had to work on this miserable thing. Uh, I've gone ahead and replaced the various missing pieces and scraped them and sanded them and needs a little bit of edge work. As you remember, this was called a pie crust table. It had a decorative uh, brass plated steel filigree. Well, I'll, I'll get it. This. And that was attached to the outside. Unfortunately, it, it's missing a section. So initially, I, I think I mentioned I was going to try and stretch it. And uh, I think that's a project for later. I'm going to move on with this. But getting back to the pie crust aspect, um, the second tier, the top tier, which was missing, uh, left me with this post. So I went ahead and glued the top back on the base after cleaning the base up. And uh, the plan is... With a template, with a router, with a collar, I've got this figured out that that's going to make a two inch diameter circle. And it should be the right depth if I do it right. I have some veneer, and this was not backed, and I have a uh, kind of an attempt here to make my own backing because uh, uh, it, it was very thin and very fragile and I, I it may work but um, I've drawn a two inch circle on here but I'm not going to cut it until I prove exactly what diameter that is. That having been said I went through a couple of ideas about maybe trying to uh, I don't know if you can see that little faint um, do a little bit of this kind of work around the center, but mind you, it's only two inches in diameter, and um, I made a, a little tiny brass template that I could use an X-Acto knife around and, and make inlay pieces. But if I do that, that's going to be for another video. Um, when I wipe it with thinner or turpentine, whatever, it has a very nice finish to it. It's very golden. Um, this is a walnut. I'm not really sure what kind of wood this is. As I mentioned, it's likely from the Philippines. 
Uh, the quality is not really good, so I'll probably use some wood filler uh, in some of these areas just to make sure that when I do lacquer this, that it has a nice even sheen. So uh, maybe, maybe not, but look forward to, uh, to seeing the completion of this. But for now, uh, I'm going to complete this video so you don't have to bear with me any longer on this thing. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Hey, if you liked it, you know, please subscribe, hit the button, you know the deal. Thanks.